Turbocharged engines have existed for over a hundred years now. No doubt they've gotten better, but despite the innovation, some issues constantly plague the turbos. Turbo lag. It's the Achilles heel, the Aaron Rodgers heel for turbocharged engines. It's basically the delay in power delivery that you experience when you open on throttle. It happens due to the time it takes for exhaust gases to reach the turbocharger and spin its turbines. The larger the turbo, the more time it will take for its blades to reach the right speed and power when you step on the gas. This is where superchargers prove more effective. They have no lag and are instantly responsive, offering better low-end performance. We have to give credit where credit is due. More modern turbocharged engines have come a long way in reducing turbo lag. Dual turbochargers of different sizes that operate at different revs are very effective in reducing the time it takes for power. Others make the turbochargers spin the turbine before exhaust gas even reaches it. But despite these innovations, a slight delay is sure to occur. This is where naturally aspirated engines have the upper hand. Just more responsive engines with precision engineering they can even make adding a turbo redundant. Are turbochargers more fuel efficient than naturally aspirated engines? Not exactly. A common belief is that by cramming more air in the engine, a turbo should offer better gas combustion. In theory, yes. Reality is a little more nuanced in this case. Automakers don't design turbochargers solely for fuel efficiency. Modern turbos give the impression of better mileage only because many of them have smaller engines sitting under the hood. Another disadvantage for turbocharged engines is that they are more complex than naturally aspirated ones. Makes them prone to tricky to fix mechanical errors. Let's listen to a turbocharger sound. Now let's listen to a naturally aspirated engine sound. The naturally aspirated engine almost always sounds better. What do you think? Turbocharged engines have taken over the industry. Hey, Porsche has been working wonders with them since the 70s. But with any tech, there are trade-offs. Turbocharging does have its bright spots, but they aren't all sunshine and roses. Hey, check us out at hotcars.com for more automotive stuff. And thanks for listening to our turbocharger video.